Hi everyone, I'm Yi from Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of Michigan. Today I'm going to give a brief tutorial on using the sequentially working origami multi-physics simulator. This simulator is built for solving active origami system with complex multi-physical behaviors. This simulator can capture the large deformation folding, heat transfer, the interdependent contact, and the thermal mechanical coupling of the active origami system. The solver provides five different loading methods and allows the user to create a loading scheme with arbitrary number and sequence of this five loading method. So in this tutorial, we will use the single crease example to demonstrate how to use the package. The first step we want to do is to create an instance of the origami solver class. So let's call it Ori. And after that, we can define the geometry of the origami pattern using the node zero and the panel zero. The node zero is basically storing the nodal coordinates of the origami. And the panel zero tells the software how each nodes are connected to form a panel. After that, we can run this analyze original pattern command so that the software can analyze the pattern and generate a numbering system used to refer to the line segment within this origami pattern. We can plot the automatically generated numbering system using this plot unmatched origami command. And this will give us this figure here. So as you can see, the single crease origami has two panels and it has seven different line segments and each line segment has a number. After that, we can tell the software the width of the crease. And the only line segment we're gonna be using is the number three. So we just set the width of the crease of this number three line segment to be W. And then we can create a meshing of the origami using the mesh mesh command. And we can plot our mesh grids out using this plot function. And this will generate the result like this. So as you can see, now the origami is represented using a barn hinge model and with some extra bars to represent the compliant crease, the crease with a explicit width. If we do not want to use this compliant crease model, we can deactivate that by setting this property of the ORI class, the compliant crease open. So by setting that to zero, we can deactivate that. And this will give us this result. So as you can see here, we only match the panels and the creases is kept as a concentrated crease model. So for this particular tutorial, we'll just keep going with a meshing that has a complex crease. So after generating the geometry, we can proceed to define the properties of the origami. So the properties include, include mechanical properties, the panel contact properties, and also the thermal properties. So you can use this figures in this tutorial document to check how those properties are defined. So there are figures telling you how they will influence the behavior of the origami. You are also welcome to check the original paper to see the derivation of these models. After setting up all the properties of the origami, we can proceed to set up the loading of this origami system. In this tutorial, let's suppose that we want to apply three steps of loading onto the origami the first step is a residual stress induced self folding process. The second step is the gravitational forces. And the final step is the thermal loading where we actuate the electrothermal actuators to fold the origami. And to do the first step, we create an instance of the controller self folding class. We prescribe that this number three crease will develop about 10 degrees of residual folding. We set up the supporting formation the incremental steps, the tolerance for each iteration, and the maximum allowed iteration per increment. And we're done with the first step. So similarly, for the second step, we first create an instance of the newton robson loading controller called NR. We set up the incremental steps, the tolerance, the maximum allowed iterations, the support information, and finally the load we want to apply onto the system. And we're done for the second step. And then finally, 
we create an instance of the thermal loading controller called the thermal. We do similar things. We set up the total number of steps, the tolerance, the support information, and we define our actuator using the properties of the actuators. We define how, many heat, how much heating we want to apply onto this actuator system. Um, that's Q load. We previously defined in the, um, at the beginning of this document. And we're done with the final step. And after we're setting up all the three controllers, we can create a loading sequence using this loading controller property of the ORI class. And the first loading sequence is going to be a self load for the residual stress. The second is the Newton Robson method, where we're simulating the gravity. And then finally, we apply some heating uh, power to the crease to actuate the origami. After setting up this loading controller, we can just ask the solver to solve. So we will be using this simple command solver solve, and that will solve the three step of the loading. Okay, it's now solving it. As you can see, the simulation is fairly rapid. And we now have the result. So the first figure is the first step of the loading where we have the residual stress induced self folding. They develop about 10 degrees of folding angle. And the second step is where we apply the gravitational forces onto the system. This will push the panel downwards. And then finally, we apply some heating power to the crease and this will elevate the temperature of the crease. As you can see, we develop about 150 degrees centigrade um, temperature. And this will fold the um, origami to this final geometry. So this is the end of this brief tutorial. I hope you enjoy and thank you very much.